Here's Andy Cohen. For 10 years, America tuned in to watch six very attractive singles navigate relationships and life in New York City. Rachel, Ross, Chandler, Monica, Phoebe, and Joey were not only friends with each other, we all wanted to be friends with them. And if this next clip package were in an episode of the show, it would be called The One Where We Watch Our Favorite Moments from Friends. See, but I don't want to be single, okay? I just, I just, I just want to be married again. <laughs> and I just want a million dollars. If I were omnipotent for a day, I would want um, world peace, no more hunger, and bigger boobs. <laughs> hey, Joey, what would you do if you were omnipotent? Probably kill myself. <laughs> Joey, uh, omnipotent. You are? <laughs> Some girl ain't Monica. Shut up. The camera adds 10 pounds. Uh, so how many cameras are actually on you? <laughs> you give me back my sweater or a tan bag marinara? <laughs> And my sister, I, I cannot believe this. Look, we're not just messing around. I love her. I'm sorry, but it, it's true. I, I love him, too. <laughs> my best friend and my sister. You know, I can't believe I even thought of getting back together with you. We are so over. <laughs> Fine by me. <laughs> Just so you know, it's not that common. It doesn't happen to every guy, and it is a big deal. I knew it. <laughs> I'm telling you, that girl totally winked at me. Did not wink at you. Somebody winking at you. Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Perry. Hello, everyone. I wish I could be there tonight celebrating the incredible career of Jimmy Burroughs with you, but I'm in London doing my play, The End of Longing. And now, please welcome to the stage my friends who just happen to be the cast of Friends, Courtney Cox, David Schwimmer, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc, and Jennifer Aniston. I just want to speak on behalf of America and say we all love seeing you together. And it's very cool seeing you together. We would do anything for, for Jim Burroughs because he really gave us the opportunity of a, of a lifetime and probably the best 10 years of our um, acting careers that we will for, for, forever remember. And we experienced friendship, yeah. family, heartbreak babies, everything together. And yeah. we also sort of had a wonderful uh, experience with the world loving us as well. They, they connected with us. Yeah, right in, the, right, in the, right in the very beginning, he really encouraged us all to sort of get along and get to know one another and be kind to one another and support one another and watch one another and help one another. And play poker. And play, you play He gave a lot us of poker. his room. He gave us his dressing room because it was big and it should have been. That's, you know, fine. <laughs> but, 
And they wrote an episode about it, actually. All right, Cincinnati, no blinds, everybody in. Yes! Or no. <laughs> All right. Your money's mine, Green. Your fly is open, Geller. <laughs> We all who are fans of the show, we love that you all are friends in real life. Talk to me about the bond that you all have as a result of the show. Well, I have to say, at the beginning, it was not a hard thing. We really just wanted to hang out with each other. We, it was not a, we have to do this. Ugh. We really just fell in love and adored each other instantly and would yeah. hang out at each other's houses and, you know, watch the show together. And we did at the beginning. We watched. Uh, you did. You episodes. watched yeah. together. Yeah. At the beginning. Yeah. The first year. Yeah. We would all sort of like watch each other's like scenes that like scenes you weren't in. You would watch and kind of like sit and kind of go try to think of ideas for one another. Go, what if we tried yeah, it this real way? Well, like, everybody was real supportive of one you another. You gave each other notes? Yeah. Huh? yeah. Oh, no, so, or suggestions. Not right. like, hey, yeah, we'd that, ask uh, for right. But that right. was also because Courtney started off saying, um, listen, y'all, I was on Seinfeld, and they all help each other. So just let's help each other. You, you talk about being encouraged to bond. I have to ask you about a rumor that went around. Did you all sign contracts saying that you wouldn't sleep with each other? Hold that thought. We're going to be right back after this. We are back with the cast of Friends. So, guys, is it true? Did you all sign contracts saying that you wouldn't sleep with each other? There's so many well, rumors about the show. I, well, I was not asked to sign anything like that. You were not asked to sign anything. <laughs> uh, who had the best chemistry of the group? I mean, you all had such great chemistry. I, I Is think there... we all had the best yeah. chemistry together, yeah, except for a... the three girls. We had lunch together every single day. Oh, the three guys ate Shh. together, too. Yeah. For <laughs> 10 years. You did? And we ate the same food. What? For, at, at Jennifer's Salad. Oh, it's not a joke. Well, it was like a, what was it? A, I like tossed the same it. thing. No, no, but she has a way with, the, uh, with it. Did you all audition for the roles that you wound up getting? I was called, asked to play, uh, audition Joey. for Monica. Yes. And her, uh, Rachel. And I think we both just thought the other was better for the other part. But I auditioned, I had to come in and audition for Jimmy. And I just, like, did you? I, me I remember meeting with Jimmy before. That's yeah, not before. auditioning. <laughs> Me? You had to audition for Jimmy? I auditioned, but... Not audition, but I did. Oh, no. So thank you. <laughs> Matt, do you have a favorite Joey moment from the show? I, I have a... Uh, I remember the episode where the boys went to a Ranger game and Ross was hit in the face with a puck. <laughs> and we're sitting in the emergency room and Joey, of course, has the puck because he, he somehow got it, and Schwimmer's got the bandage on his face, and Jimmy goes, A hey, LeBlanc. And I look up, and he goes... And, I, and it was, it's just that little sort of seed that he gives you, and that's the thing about him. He doesn't say a lot. He just kind of knows... He gives you credit for being an artist, and, he, and I kind of went, oh, okay. So it became this... And, I, and then I look at David... And he's pissed off, <laughs> and that was the downbeat for the scene, and it was and it was great. But it was it was his idea. Thanks, Jimmy. Forgot about that episode. Yeah, it was great. So let me tell you a little more about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Courtney, do you have a favorite episode? One of my favorites was the blackout episode. I love that. I love the cat on your back. <laughs> And he said, just keep going with the cat on my back. He just, just said, keep doing it. Keep doing it until I, I yell, cut. And he, ne and that and he just never did. He just never time. did. Jennifer, the episode where Rachel gets drunk and marries Ross. Yes. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> One of your favorites? <laughs> this is it. We're going to get married. Are you sure you want to do this? No, that was a 
a really, that was actually a very fun episode. But I always loved the, the flashbacks. I always loved when we would have things like flashback to Fat Monica and Rachel, pre nose job, and Ross with his afro. Oh, Dad, turn it off! It is off. <laughs> Right, Ross? Was it ever explained how you afforded the apartment? I know this is something that's... Inherited. My grandmother. Inherited. My grandmother. Yeah. Oh, well, thank God. How did I miss Red that? Red control. Hello. Come Red on. control. Right. Red no, control. Sorry. David, you, you went on to direct a few episodes of Friends. Did you ask him for advice? Who, Jimmy? Yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, look, I mean, I, 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 asked him if, I asked him if I could watch him and follow him, and he graciously took me under his wings, and I tried to try to learn you watch him, him, it's amazing to watch, because you just learn so much. But he also, by the way, I mean, we all knew who James Burroughs was. And really, I felt like we were a brand new show, and, you know, there had been Taxi and Cheers, and he went around and told us, like, you were Mary from Mary Tyler Moore. You're the hub. You're Reverend Jim. Like, I'm, okay, great, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> she's right, she's right. I remember him saying to me, he goes, you're Danza. I was like, oh, okay. He said you're Danza. Yeah. That's true. great. <laughs> Tell me what Jim Burroughs' legacy as a sitcom director is. I mean, look at the room. Look right? at the room. Yeah. Here's his legacy. The I room. mean, there's, there's nothing that I don't think anyone in this room wouldn't do for him, you know? And I think he taught us everything that we, we know about comedy, timing, co support, collaboration, you know. It's all right. <laughs> we thank you. He's our papa. Thank you all so Thank much. You. Really appreciate it. So cool to see you. Coming up.